Lots of teams, you know, practice for hours on baseball. We practice for hours working on our dance moves. That, uh-huh. Lean back, that's right. Like a lot of kids growing up playing baseball, Bill Leroy and Kyle Lewigs dreamt of the major leagues. But that changed when they went bananas. Yeah, I, th I thought I knew what I wanted, and then I started doing this, and I realized that I was wrong. So, Kyle, I'm talking to the viral dancing pitcher. It's kind of like, how far can you push the boundaries? Like, what can I do before a pitch and actually still be able to not lose pitchability or still be able to throw a strike? We take time to practice what we're doing. I like Kyle getting a strikeout. We do dirty dancing. The fans love it. But dancing players are just one part of the experience at a Savannah Bananas game. You've also got a dancing first base coach, the Banana Nanas, and the celebrated Banana Baby. There's a wait list for the Banana Baby. The guy in the yellow suit, 38-year-old Jesse Cole, the owner and for all intents and purposes, ringmaster of the Savannah Bananas. And I realized that, you know, to baseball purists and traditionalists, the game is great. But to most people, the game is too long, too slow, too boring. This is the biggest banana pro of your life. Are you mentally prepared? And I started learning, like, what would P.T. Barnum do? What would Walt Disney do? And so we decided to completely make it a circus and make it a show and make the game more entertaining. Where do you come up with these ideas? One of the big mottos we have here in Banana Land is whatever's normal, do the exact opposite. That every day I write down 10 ideas. Every day our team gets together, we have idea for losers. And it keeps us uh, excited, motivated, and inspired every day to do things that can hopefully bring joy and smiles to people's faces. Ideas like creating their own version of the game called Banana Ball, with a two hour time limit, a moratorium on bunting and walks, and if a fan catches a foul ball, it's an out. It's also where they showcase some of their wilder moves, like hitting with burning bats and playing on stilts. The world's tallest pitcher, Dakota Stilts Alberta! Banana ball is 100% the future of the bananas, and I never knew it would be. 98% of our fans stay till the last pitch which I don't think happens in any major league stadium or baseball stadium anywhere. Jesse and his wife bought the collegiate summer team in 2015, and their first season was a far cry from the packed stands you see today. At, at first, no one wanted to be a part of this. <laughs> when we came up with the team name, people said whoever came with his name should be fired, the owner should be thrown out of town. And then once people came out here and they saw players deliver roses to little girls during the game, and they watched the players dance, when they watched all that, they said, this is something that's different. Now, Jesse says the wait list for tickets is over 60,000. And virtually, their fandom is in the millions. You know, TikTok was, was built for, for the Savannah Bananas. Mostly it just shows guys on the field expressing themselves, not taking the game too seriously. And, you know, I never would imagine we'd have two million more followers than every Major League Baseball team. It's crazy. There are some baseball purists, I suppose, who are a little skeptical. Hey, we're not for everybody. You know, we're, we're very, very clear. Our goal is simple, to make baseball fun. And every day, that's what we come to the ballpark to do. And for Bill and Kyle, who started out in the college league and now play banana ball full time, along with running a banana summer camp for kids, it's been a dream come true. It's the most fun I've ever had doing anything, not just sports, uh, anything in life. Bill LeRoy with his first career home run. No, we're very blessed to say the least. I can't believe we get to call it a job. That's really cool. <laughs> now, Jesse told me he's got a goal to bring the bananas not just across the country, but around the world. The Banana Ball World Tour is played in stadiums across the South for now going as far as Kansas City. Jesse says by 2030, he thinks they'll be playing in front of a million fans no a question. year. It's I a genius so. concept. Isn't it? It's a genius concept. And why do you think that is? <laughs> well, I mean, if you've been to a minor league baseball game, not to disparage minor league baseball, but some of the games can be kind of long. a snooze fest. Yeah. I mean, not it, these it, ones. Two hours. No bunting, yeah, no walking. Perfect for That's kids. Fun. It'd be a fun birthday yeah. party. I know, isn't yeah. it great? And by the way, they have an entertainment meeting before, just like they would a meeting about the plays that they're going to yeah. play. So. It's, they take it just as seriously, but they say it actually helps them do better. That's a great That's story. Awesome. Savannah, thanks. Yeah, Savannah, thank banana. You. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah, we'll you get you to Savannah soon. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.